hello, I'm how are you? Colleen, I'm your server today. Okay, nice to see you. Colleen, how long have you been here? Nine and a half years. A decade? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, what was the last thing we got changed in here? Oh, this is still the same way the original owners had it. Really? The wallpaper's been up there for 35 years. My God. Let's, uh, let's go through the menu, yeah? Let's start off with um, meatball sandwich. I love meatballs. Who makes them? They come from a company that we order from. <laughs> You're kidding me. No. We can't even make a meatball. I can. <laughs> OK, let's go for the meatball sandwich. And let's go for the chicken scapella. OK. Pizza. Ooh. Let's go for the uh, Capri Colossal. You want the big one? Yeah, why not? OK. OK, I'll let you put that order in. OK. Thank you. You're welcome. OK, what do we have to make? Chicken scarpillo, meatball sandwich, extra large colasso. He wants an extra large? Jim, get me an extra large dough. What does he want? A colossal. All righty. So it's not just the menus. Oh, dear. Bits of sauce down there. Crap. Ugh. Just disgusting. Bits of everywhere. There's tape on the carpet. Look at this place. When was the last time the place was cleaned? Not lately. How long has this stuff been here? 20 years. 20 years? Bloody hell. Oh, it's like it's snowing. Oh, oh my god. That's gross, no? Yes. That's, that's above people's... That's very, yes. Jim, two seconds, please. When was the last time this place was cleaned? Ah! Uh... Have you seen this? No, I did not. My goodness me. Who's responsible for the cleaning here? I'm responsible. I didn't do it. Have you seen the fans? I do not like to clean. I hate cleaning. To me, that's a four-letter word. So I'm about to start eating. I give that a little shake, and all of a sudden, the dust just runs down. Let me wash my hands before I start eating. You want to microwave these meatballs, please? OK. Work with me. Cheese. Sandwich is ready. Okay, a meatball yeah. sandwich. Meatball sandwich. Um... Okay, and so they buy the meatballs, they defrost them, and then has that been microwaved or? Yes. Thank you. What else do we have to make? Uh, Scarpello. That's nasty. When a restaurant can't even bother to make a meatball, that's not a good sign. Let me tell you that. Somebody should tell him the chicken's definitely dead. But not okay. <laughs> What's the matter with these guys? Oh my god. What in the hell is that? The Colasso pizza. Wow. I mean, it's like someone's cleared out the fridge. Look at it. It's endless. It has a little bit of everything except for anchovies. Oh, that's dreadful. Okay, thank you. Okay. The crap and the gunk on top of it is just hideous. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm well, I'm so happy you. to be in Louisiana. My first time. Good. Thank Welcome. you. My first name is? Candice. Candice. I saw on the menu the oyster... Oysters Cortello. It's an invented dish for our restaurant. The Cortellos is Daryl and Ellen, so they made, they made it up. So Six. the owners have named an oyster after them? Yes, they have. You bought the restaurant, now you want your name on the menu. Yes. Sounds like someone's struggling for power. <laughs> I've got to try one. OK. Yeah. And I must have some boiled shrimp. Boiled shrimp. And what specials do you have, my darling? We have a chicken fried steak today. Let's go for it. We do have also traditional bread pudding. Let's go for that. And I think we're done. OK. Thank you. Look what I got. All right, here we go. When Darryl got here, he kind of implemented his own menu. It really gets frustrating because Daryl really has no idea, culinary-wise, what he's doing. Candace, you ready? I'm going to take out the boiled shrimp to him. Chef Ramsay is going to love this food. It's simple food, it's basic food, it's feel-good food, but it's done very well and fresh. OK. Boiled mm. shrimp. Thanks, darling. 
My first Louisiana shrimp. Yeah, everything's soft. They should peel easily and sort of pop out the shell, but I'm struggling to peel them. Mm. I mean, that is nasty. What I'm struggling for here is the lack of freshness. They feel and taste slightly mushy, which is a big disappointment. Candice, where are the shrimps fresh? They're fresh frozen. They're fresh frozen. frozen. I know it's kind of an oxymoron. But you can buy fresh shrimp yes. within a mile from Yes, there. yes. The frozen shrimp tastes like shit. Sorry. Crap. <laughs> he wanted to know why we would get frozen shrimp when you can go to, like, the market and get them fresh every day. It's not uncommon. That's what you use out of mine. So that's what you cook my scallops from, yeah? Are they frozen? No, they're not frozen now. They were frozen. They were frozen, but they're yep. not frozen now. Yep. You've got no chance of cooking that. Decent. Oh, my gosh. I was dying. I was mortified. It's not hidden. It wasn't a secret. You just have to go in and open a fridge door. What's that in there? I don't think anybody walked into the refrigerator or the walk-in box to inspect it at all. Frozen. Everything's frozen. That's what he's getting. Nothing's fresh. Hold on, hold on. Maureen, come over. Mitch, come over, please. What is that? How old are they? They're not that old. That's two days old. That's a funny two days. How are you going to recook them? Help me. What are we going to do? Fry. You refry it. Fry, yeah. So it's fried twice. I want to throw up. There's not enough liquor in that bar to get them inebriated enough to even attempt to eat that. Is there any control in here, guys? Oh, what is that? Mozzarella sticks. And can you see that there? Blood. Blood from where? From the meat. Blood from the meat on the mozzarella sticks. Come on, guys. Thank God I didn't have the fucking mozzarella sticks. It looked like a blood transfusion going on down there. Mitch, when was the last time you went through the fridge? Uh... Talk to me, please. I have not gone through this fridge, Chef. I left it up to my staff, all right? I knew I had a problem with Mitch as far as that supervision was involved, but I didn't think it was as bad, you know? You've got raw meat here, cooked meat, salami, blood in there. Fuck it. Come on, please. Don't do this to yourself, let alone the customers. Rule number one. When learning to cook, you cannot store raw meat and cooked meat on the same fucking shelf in the same fucking fridge. The whole fucking thing has got a cross-contamination. Chief, give me something. It's like a supervision in here. Where's the rest of the fridge? Okay, this way. That's what I need to see. There. Tenders. Tenders. Chicken tenders. Why is it all bubbly and slimy? There's a chicken cum later. The chicken comes like that. Look how slimy it is. Look how slimy it is. Look at it. Shit. My God, it's horrific. It's totally embarrassing. What is this? How can you serve that? It's like it's been left out for days and it's been attacked by cats. This is where your money's going. Irrespective of where the customers aren't coming from, but just from the base. Yeah, absolute waste. I know, because I pay the bills. Let me just tell you now, I would never, never have put a spoon of anything in my mouth if I knew this was taking place. Shocking to see just the extent of cross-contamination. There's no one checking. I'm sorry, Chief. You may be the Chief, but I swear to God, there's one thing the grasshopper hasn't got is a leader. Why all these things got burns on them? You, you, you don't buy them by that, do you? Why are they burnt? We reuse them sometimes. You what? We wash them, clean them, and then use them again. I can't believe this is happening. I wash the stick and everything is clean. What's the program? Where's Lisa? I, uh, no, Kira, don't run away like a snake. OK. I've just scraped dried chicken off these. We're cutting oh. fast. There's bits of food on there. Do you, do you think this is right? Um, 
just feel how sticky that is on the end. That's food being wiped off it. It's 45 minutes into service, and Sushiko is doing what, unfortunately, it does best, disappointing its customers. Is it right? It's a little scary looking. OK, guys, I said I don't like the tempura. I said it's way overcooked, and the bat is just really doughy. Thank you. Lisa, it's coming back. It's doughy, and that's not tempura broccoli. It's mushy, yeah. It's good. Stop the broccoli. Take it off. Yeah, don't even, like, do tempura anymore. Why cause more damage? Is that fryer hot enough? Does it work properly, uh, the fryer temperature? I, actually, that's a great question. It doesn't look like it's hot enough. It's not blasting it. No. Uh, that's scary. That's a nightmare piece of equipment that probably isn't holding the temperature because it's getting old. Just like me. <laughs> uh, Lisa, here, look at all this. Oh, the spicy mayo? So you don't keep mayonnaise in the fridge? No. That's not required for refrigeration. That's I had. Refrigerate after opening. Feel how warm that is. Maybe, yeah. And how long has that been staying outside for? It, truthfully. Always staying outside, spicy for, mayonnaise. For four years? Yes. This is a Japanese health hazard. This is about you running your restaurant properly. And you're not. Oh, my god. What's this fridge for? It's warm in here. And this fridge is on 50. Does this work in this fridge? Well, it broke down. When did it break down? A couple of months ago. I don't have the money to fix, so... So we've, we've got big containers of ice. Yes. To keep the ingredients cold. Well, just the vegetable we keep it here. Vegetable? We've got dairy, you've got oh, eggs here. That, that's a mistake. Never chicken beef here? Look at me. Well, sometimes they make a mistake Why when we're back. I'm not lying to you. Akira, you could kill somebody.